Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to The Kill Count. I'm Eric Martinez, and today we're going to be covering The Summer Camp Massacre, which was only released about 18 hours ago on Robin N's channel. And right now, only about an hour ago, he released my Kill Count of, on America Fall Guys, which I highly recommend you should check out. Anyways, the video is all about summer camp. Yoshi, who is the teacher, decides to send all of his students that he has to summer camp with some counselors that are Peach and Hammer Bro. But then, there is a killer that's stalking all of them and killing them off one by one. Until there's a big plot twist at the end. Now, let's see how many people will be killed in the, in the summer camp massacre or... Uh, yep, that, that's what the name is. But how many, how many people will get killed in their final summer of their lives? Let's get to the kills. Anyways, we start, we start off the video with Yoshi telling all of his students that it's time for them to go to summer camp. And also Yoshi decides to introduce the camp counselors, Murray, Peach, and Hammerbro. And also Daisy's... Daisy is also a counselor too, I believe. Anyways, Marlin heads to to Daisy. Supposedly, Daisy. Um, let's, wait. Let's take a chance. See here. So basically, if you hear correctly, Marlin and Daisy are dating each other, which I kind of feel mm, don't feel good about. Marlin, I mean, Murray is like um, a Sesame Street character. I mean, like. We have seen plenty of Sesame Street characters, and I believe he was supposed to be the main antagonist for, like, Season 3 of Total Plushies World Tour. And also, Daisy is supposed to be dating Luigi, but I believe this takes place in a non-canon universe. You know, it's non-canon. On time. Well, remember that date? It's the reason. Yeah. No. But then, as they're talking, as I believe about their own stuff... What happens behind them is a killer that kills both of them. Oh no! And as we see Daisy having her like back um, of her head being uh, killed, and also Murray being choked to death, and we get our first two on the count. That's sweet. Anyways, there is a little talking with Junior saying that for for like when I covered Squid Game, he said that he said that he had a dream about the Squid Game. Basically, I believe it's either supporting to like an other dream or like the, you know, the plushy squid game that I covered on the kill count. Yeah, you know. But anyways, Hammer Bro decides to drink some water from the pool, which, I mean, like, what could be disgusting. But then the killer comes up and drowns Hammer Bro into the water. Wow. And then he just leaves his body there. But I gotta say, Robin, I can't believe you actually put one of your plushies in the water. I wouldn't go that far to do that, but I live in an apartment, so what do I have to say? Anyways, everybody is is trying to wait for the counselor, Hammer Bro, to, to arrive, but but then Peach decides to go look for him, but in nowhere. And then the killer comes up and then slashes Peach in the face! Wow. Well, I mean, like, not a, I mean, like, that's just a slash of blood, but, you know, yeah, she's dead now. And the other campers see this. And then Koopa goes up, kind of bullying him, saying that it's not Halloween. But then, the, the killer twists Koopa's head, and then Koopa falls down dead. Kamek stupidly decides to go, think, to go think that Koopa is okay going up to his body, only for him to be slashed in the face. I gotta say, that was a pretty dumb move, even though he's supposed to be smart. Because, you know, the killer's right there. Damn it, Kamek. Now, as they all do know that this is no trick, they all decide to run, except for Boom Boom, who wants to man up and beat the killer. Anyways, it looks like that big Boom Boom has the upper hand, but then, but then um, the killer bashes Boom Boom's head against the wall, get, bleeding him. And then he just leaves there, and Boom Boom has died. Anyways, Sally falls in for some reason, as finding out that her eye has been slashed. Or is it a he? I don't know, but she's dead. 
They all now see the killer, and Morton decides to sacrifice himself, and only for the for their safety. And the killer attacks Morton by slashing him in the nose, which spreads onto his, um, I think forehead, I believe. But by the way, he's now dead. And then they all head to the sheriff, which thinking that they will that they will help. He will help him them, but the sheriff reveals something really, really bad. He tells he tells them that he's one of the bad guys and slashes Bunga, leaving him dead. For some reason, um, I'm kind of fearing Slumber Party Massacre vibes and uh, Texas Chainsaw 2 vibes, because, you know. Mm. Anyways, after his big reveal along with his killer buddy, He's, he's, he tells the kids, saying that if they try to escape, they will be killed. Goomba tries to escape, but then he gets, he gets slashed by the killer in both of his eyes and mouth. And as you know, keep him jumping on him and dead. Anyways, Toad also mans up and decides to beat down Woody, which... Which knock, which heads him on the ground, slamming his head real hard for bleeding, and then he bleeds out, knowing that he's dead. Anyways, they all decide to go home until Toad is slashed in the back of the head, with, with um, like you know, their sharp tool from the killer. Oh no, the video is almost up. What are Pom Pom and Junior? Oh, well, Junior, Junior is beating him up, which leaves him really bloody and reveals his mask. It's supposed to be like some sort of ginger red man. I don't know. But then this kind of ending scene is pretty dark. Junior puts on the mask and has scissors, and then, well, oh. So I believe on that ending scene, I believe Pom Pom got killed, but I don't know. I'm just gonna say that she did die. Well, in that count, I mean like, you know. Well, anyways, that's just where it all ended. Junior just killed Pom Pom, I believe. Well, anyways, now let's get to the numbers. So by my count, I believe 15 people got killed in the the summer camp massacre, if, you know, if you count Pom Pom on there. But anyways, of the victims, 11 of them were male, and 4 of them were female, giving us uh, pretty much a really good um, good pie chart, even though you can't like See you right there. Anyways, now let's give out the awards like I like it. Anyways, solid gunshot for the coolest kill will go to Koopa, cause I mean like, if that was actually in a movie which was in Freddy vs. Jason, I only gotta say, that would be the coolest one in my book, even if it's bad CGI. You know, but it's amazing. The devastating drill will go to Murray, cause he was only just choked to death. Yeah, that, that was it. And that's it. Robin ends the slum, the, the the summer camp massacre. It's a little bit hard to say since about you know the word. The, yeah, you know, forget it. But it was only released about 18 hours ago in 2022. And I mean, like, it's a pretty good video. I mean, like, it's much more clear. And I actually pretty enjoyed it as well. But next time, after I'm done doing the Mario vs. Jeffy, I mean, I mean Mario vs. Luigi, <laughs> I'm sorry about that, I will be doing the Powerpuff Jeffies made by SML. And I'm Eric Martinez, and I'm signing off. Goodbye. Uh.